Among the many things Ron and John Slee have in common as brothers is a diagnosis of essential tremor, an involuntary shaking movement for which no exact cause can be identified. Writing's a little bit tough, uh, eating certain things like soup. It was terrible to get under control to uh, do that. In addition to his tremor, John also has Parkinson's disease. Yeah, I have a very hard time doing paperwork and uh, I'm primarily right-handed, but I ended up eating left-handed and doing everything left-handed. As both men have seen their conditions become more severe over the past few years, their medication dosages have increased accordingly. Seeking a different treatment path, the brothers decided to undergo deep brain stimulation. DBS, as it's known, is a surgical procedure used to treat a variety of disabling neurological symptoms, such as tremor, stiffness, slowed movement, and walking problems. DBS uses surgically implanted electrodes connected to a battery-operated device called a neurostimulator that's also implanted. It's the size of a stopwatch, and kind of like a heart pacemaker, it delivers electrical stimulation to targeted areas in the brain that control movement. When we're going to place the electrodes, it depends on what the diagnosis is. Um, and so we have different targets that work better for different things. So Parkinson's disease, we go one place, essential tremor, we go another place. First up was John, whose results were immediate and dramatic. Two days later, Ron was in the OR. Great initial progress for both men, but to ensure that sticks, both men have appointments for programming about a week later. What that entails is going through and testing out the various electrodes on the stimulator to identify which electrode seems to be giving best improvement of his tremor control and if there are any side effects that occur on any of those electrode options to help us figure out what is going to be our best um, treatment option as we have the device turned on. So, everybody's here for a tune-up. Right. At another appointment with Renee a few weeks later, Ron's progress seems solid. Renee makes a few tweaks to John's device. They calm that shaking down. Yeah. Is that tingling bothersome anywhere or just that it was there? No, I think For both John and Ron, we are seeing expectant improvement of their tremor control. Obviously, it is individualized with the parameters that are being used and for their individual problems that they're having, but both of them are having good improvement of their issues as expected. Tremors are non-existent pretty much. Uh, things like drinking water are, are easy to do now. Um, eating soup, writing, uh, texting. It just is a big relief to have all that gone basically and life is normal again. I'm pretty much back to work full time now, doing what I always did. I'm able to handle like a drink or something without spilling and just taking a drink. You wouldn't believe how many glasses I broke and things like that and spilled milk over the past years. Well, I basically was enslaved to this thing. It, it held me hostage so I didn't really go out among people like I used to or enter in, even at work, I would kind of pull back or hesitate a little bit, you know. Now, I'm, it's just like, I'm all, almost like brand new. I'm, I'm right back in the world going again, doing what I always did. It's really neat to see. Everyone is always happy um, to have their tremor improving. And um, so it's always happy to share that experience with them. Here's a time when we really actually do quite clearly make people better. And it is, it's really exciting and it's, and it's humbling really because people come in so grateful. 
Um, and I just, I, it's hard to even describe, you know, the feeling that you get when somebody comes in and, you know, hugs you and cries because they were able to do things that they haven't been able to do for decades. I mean, it's, it, I, it's the most satisfying thing I can imagine.